I have a friend who lives in the Bay Area and he's been collecting art for decades. Mm -hmm. And when he saw my stuff, because I do a lot of different things, I do uh, mosaics, I do painting. um, And um, he said to me, you're not charging enough. Yeah. You don't charge enough money. People don't take you seriously. I have a terrible time figuring what is my art worth? I mean, I I've done paintings that I sold for $150 mm-hmm. and I've sold paintings that I sold for $10. Yeah. You know, and I, I just, I don't know how to drive my um, customers out of buying something because I'm overcharging, mm-hmm. but I don't want to undercharge either because people don't seem to recognize how much time goes into it, how much materials. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. There's some things I do that take weeks. No, 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 totally, totally, totally. I know where you're at. Um, I would say I would say that like undercharging and struggling with price is in the top five biggest things artists and photographers struggle with. Everyone does. It's like a, it's like a huge thing. They get a they, they, couple of things about price. One, almost everyone charges too little. That's just a that's just a truth. So raise your prices is is the long and the short. <laughs> Take a deep breath and raise your prices. If you can't do it, um, have a glass of wine, call a friend over, and tell them to raise your prices. There are <laughs> there are literally there have been instances with customers at art storefronts where I call, where I let them know, and I'm like, look, I know this is this is really terrifying for you. This is really really difficult for you. So I'm going to do it for you, and I will log into their website and I will raise all of their prices twenty percent, and it's totally fine, right? So that's number one. But number two. It, we fall into this fallacy thinking that price is a fixed number and you have to stick to it. You can raise your prices or lower your prices at any time for any reason. It doesn't matter, right? And it's always just a little game of too firm, too soft, just right, right? And so as you go through the business, if the, more, if the work is moving, you raise your prices and you just do it on a yearly basis. If things really, really cool off, well then maybe you pushed it too far, right? But there's no there's no one size fits all pricing model. Right. Um, generically speaking, in, ter- in terms of prints, and this is obviously not original art, we recommend a 250% markup relative to what you pay for the print. And so that that works for the majority of our customers, you know, at a macro. But some people, you know, they hit a ceiling on what they can charge. And that's just, is what right. it is for, for the kind and of work I, that they I have notice that um if people are really interested they'll pay yes 100% they'll pay whatever they'll pay. it is 100% um, they'll pay. some of my paintings I, i've done really well on and i do other kind of art too um and it's when people don't they're not they can take it or leave it that's when they try to ask for you know less money you know i i do um Negotiation is a perfectly wonderful and normal part of the art sales process. Right, and and right. and the dirty little secret is the higher the price per piece, the more negotiation that happens. And so right. when I say we do a two hundred and fifty percent markup on prints, if somebody says like, "Hey, I really like that print, but I'm not giving you fifteen hundred bucks for it. Would you take twelve hundred? Well, if you've marked up two hundred and fifty percent, then you have. Tell you what. I'll give it to you for 1300 but you have to take it today. Will you take it today? And then you shut up and the deal gets over the line. So right. it, it, it's helpful to charge additional and then have that ability to be able to negotiate and come down, you know? So how do you know uh, what your baseline is? I mean, uh, like I, I make, um, you know, switch plate covers, you know, people. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course, yeah, of course. I, I don't know what that's worth. I know what I probably pay for materials, but it doesn't count for time. You know, I don't yeah, know what I, 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 I think, my baseline is. I think early on, early on, just to try to do some back of the math, you know what the switch plate cover costs you. I mean, the switch plate cover costs you five bucks. Let's just say it's probably even less than that. Five bucks. And let's say you put 10 hours in. Okay. Well, value your time at $20 an hour. There's $200 plus the five. Charge $250 for a switch plate cover. See, I was like, I'm like, I don't feel like I can do that, but uh, I guess yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent. But you, you know, y- you can try that and see what happens. My guess is a hundred dollar price point is probably a little bit better for a switch plate cover. That's probably palatable. Right. Ninety nine dollars sounds familiar, but you know what? That means you have to audit yourself and not spend fifty five hours on a single switch plate cover, right? right Let's right. get those babies done in like forty five minutes if you can. Yeah, well, and yeah. I do call it functional art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> Everybody love it. has a switch plate cover. They do indeed. They do indeed. Or everyone has right, switches. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for checking out the Q and A. What if you have your own question first? Uh, you can leave me a comment below on this YouTube video. I see them. I will respond. Uh, number two, 
Uh, definitely encourage you to subscribe. It's very easy to do. There's some fancy motion graphics going across the screen now, uh, but there's a subscribe button. There's a bell button. You'll know when we're live. You can come on and say, Patrick, I have a question, uh, even from your YouTube app, which is super handy. And then the third is three times weekly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, free Zoom calls, we call them the Art Business Workshops. There's going to be a link uh, directly below me in this description. You can sign up. Uh, they're free. You can come answer your question, which I'm sure will be awesome. And I will do my measure best to uh, make sure my advice is slightly better than marginal. Uh, no, but I'm, in all seriousness, I'll, I'll, I'll take a crack at answering it. Thanks. Uh, thanks for checking out this video.